Hello! Coming on at normal time today instead of super early like I was yester yesterday, day before. Can't remember when I was live last. Anyways, hello. Afternoon to those of you in the UK. Good morning to those of you in the US. I thought I would jump on really quick because I have most of my makeup done, but I'm skipping two things and I just saw somebody pull up and I guarantee it's going to be a delivery. It always happens when I go on live. <laughs> Someone shows up at our front door. So I apologize in advance if that is coming to our house. We shall see. So when you do any makeup look, or you could literally just put on lashes and lips. I already have my lips on. I mean, I'm going to add something to them. It just adds a little bit of something. So I have done all my makeup already, and I am going to add the lashes. The lashes are there. I'm not putting on fake lashes or anything, but I am going to add mascara and show you how that just makes your eyes look more open and everything. Trying to see if this delivery person is coming to our house or our neighbors. We will soon find out. Okay, so this is called Epic Mascara. Epic Mascara. So I am going to show you how just one coat of this is going to add so much. I like to layer this too with what is called the 3D Mascara. And this has two tubes because there's one with gel, one with fiber. I love putting these together with this, but today I'm just going to go with just this one by itself. So... I know, I'm going to show you how to put on mascara. Some of you are thinking, I know what to do. But I know there are people out there that don't know what to do or have never seen how this works. Oh, good, yay, they delivered to our neighbors. I don't have to interrupt this. So, you just pull it out like you normally would. Wipe off any excess. And then I like to use, I'm going to set this down so I don't drop it. I like to use a compact mirror to look down into and then put on the mascara while you look down. So the reason why I do that, let me kind of demonstrate as I'm doing it, is because when you do this, for this mascara, there is a curling agent in it. I don't know how it works, but it just does. And it curls your lashes up. So when you look down while you're putting it on, it just seems to curl them just a little bit even more. So that's why I do it with this technique. I've got some crazy hair things going on here. Just ignore that. Okay, do you see that? That is one coat. Crazy, I have lashes now. All right, let me put this in so you can see what happens. Oh, I forgot to do my bottom lashes. I'll do those in a second. Okay, so coming in and doing the other side, just like so. Now, for me, whatever this is gonna be, this is varies per person, but for me, my dominant side is my right side, so I tend to be able to put mascara on really well on that side, and I have issues on this side. So some techniques for that, you can see I'm coming in and kind of doing it a little bit this way, but then I flip the wand and go in this direction as well. And I just go to the tips of the lashes and add in there. And then go right here as well. See? There we go. I did it on that side. Yay. Now, for your bottom lashes, I like to put just a little bit. If I'm going for something more dramatic, I'll put more on the bottom. But I just come in and I something just landed out of nowhere. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Maybe it means I need to dust someplace. So I just come in and add just a little bit. Because when you do that... It opens up your eyes even more because it draws attention to those little lashes and it just makes your eyes pop. So that is the lashes portion of lips and lashes of how you can just add a little something. And I'm telling you what, the thing that I love about this mascara is that there are often days, I know I've got eye makeup on today, there are often days that I either put something like one quick color or nothing, but you put mascara on and have no other makeup on and it's going to make you look more awake. I need that a lot. So that is what I do. All right lips. Um, I have had a lot of people ask me recently, I don't know if it's because it's winter or what the reasoning is about asking for lipstick that stays, that is not going to come off like if you take a drink, um, if you're drinking out of your coffee cup, if you kiss somebody on the cheek or whatever it is. My husband will tell you, um, and my kids now are doing this too. So they will specifically say what is on your lips. Whoops, I'm going to spill my water. Um, will ask me what is on their, my lips before I give them a kiss. Like the boys will do this and back away from me if I go in for a kiss and they say I have lipstick on. Because they know if I'm wearing this, it's not going to come off on them. And they're not going to have like a pink, you know, the lip mark you leave on a child's face. My boys are not fans of that right now, especially my older one. Um... So they will only allow me to do it if I say, oh, it's lip stain. It's not going to go anywhere. So there's a little lesson from my family. So this is how this works. You can kind of see it's liquidy. So it goes on and it's going to feel like water. And then you let it dry and it's going to stay. So let me show you how it works. You can line your lips if you want to. You can always put it over something. But I am using, I just forgot which color I grabbed. Serendipitous, I believe. Yep. Serendipitous. And I'm just going to show you how it goes on. 
See how it looks like watery? And then we'll put some on the top. Sorry, I'm quiet during this part. I have no clue how to talk while I put that on. Okay, here, now it's watery. So I'm gonna let it dry for a second while I talk to you a little bit more about it. This is one of the reasons why I love it. No, it's gonna stay on, number one, but you can take it from like casual and then can add layers to it. So I say casual that it's gonna be lighter. So with my lips, and it's gonna depend on your lips, with my lips, they like to suck in color. <laughs> Especially in the winter when I feel like my lips aren't as like moisturized and everything, <clears throat> um, being outside and that type of thing and the wind and all that. So they suck in color of any lip product that I put on. So when it comes to one that is a little bit more water-based, you can see my lips have kind of taken that in. So I'm gonna add another layer, and that is just all dependent on what kind of skin you have, um, how your lips are, and everything like that. You could put on one coat of this and you might be good. For me, I need a little bit more. I could stay with this actually, because if I just wanted to add just a tone, like a tone, wow, why can't I say that word today? A tone of color, I'd be good with this, but I wanna add a little bit more. Um, I'm not really sure why I want to add a little bit more today because I'm literally, I think the only other reason I'm leaving the house is to pick up our kids from school, but whatever. That's all right. I can go with a little bit more color on my lips for that. So here we go again, adding the second layer. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more right here. I also love the shape of this wand. Hold on, I cannot talk while I do this. I'm trying and it's not working, you guys. I just cannot talk while I do this. Okay, see how this wand is kind of, let me go like this so you can see. It's got that angle right there. I love that because you can get into places or just like tap on a little bit of smidge if you need to. I use that word smidge all the time. My children are using it now. Is it a word? I should see if it's in the dictionary. Okay, so there you go. That is the second layer. I could keep going if I wanted to. I'm gonna stop right there and this time around, but you can see how it's added color and it's going to last and it's still drying right now. Um, this is something I absolutely love. If you are somebody who tends to um, feel like you need your lips feeling moisturized all the time, the perfect thing to put over this later in the day if you are feeling like it's drying out is a bonbon. And you could use any of the colors, but I like using the, I think it's called vanilla milkshake because you can put this over, moisturize, it's not gonna come off on it, but it just gives a little bit of moisture to your lips if you need that. All right, so there is the quickest life ever. It's not the quickest life ever. I feel like I've done quicker, but I've got stuff I gotta do <laughs> before children come home. So there's your lashes with the Epic Mascara, lips with the lip stain, and there's great colors in the lip stain too. If you're not sure about which color to start off with, if you're somebody that's new to lipstick, I highly suggest the color Shy. It's called Shy, I kinda like that color name too, because it's a really kind of neutral color, and it's just a little bit of something adding to your lips, and so I like that color as a beginner color. If you wanna try some different ones, there are more reds, more pinks, more purplies. This is kind of somewhere in the middle of pink and purple. And so those are great ones for you to try as well. If you're interested in either of these or both, comment below, yeah. <laughs> Comment below lips and lashes or just one or the other and I will help you out figure out what color would be great for you with lips or hook you up with some epic mascara. If you have not tried this yet, look at this. I do not have lashes and without this you would not see anything. You see it's though. And this is a whole nother thing. I think I need, so I use lash serum um, on my eyelashes to help them grow and everything. And when I was pregnant with children, I lost hair right here. For those of you that know nothing about that or aren't ready for kids, don't stress about it yet. Some of us get that happen, some of us don't. But anyways, I lost it right here. And so whenever I have my hair back, it drives me crazy. So they need serum for hair. Somebody's probably gonna tell me now that there is that. Tell me if there is, I'd like to know. All right, that's all for lips and lashes today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and that you can encourage somebody today to live into their wild beauty Take that out into the world and make a difference. Please let me know if you have questions as always and I'm gonna go jump over and take care of some other things before I have to rush and get kids. Take care, I'll see you soon, bye.